we are presenting a case of a patient with a history of recurrent missed abortions. She is now six weeks pregnant based on her last menstrual period. The goal of the scan was to confirm intrauterine pregnancy, assess viability and evaluate for any uterine anomalies given her obstetric history. On scanning, the uterus appeared abnormally shaped with a fibrous echogenic band running along the midline of endometrial cavity, partially dividing it into two horns. This is a classic feature of septate uterus, a Mullerian duct anomaly and often implicated in recurrent pregnancy losses. The gestational sac was located in the left horn of the uterus, confirming that implantation occurred within the endometrial lining. The sac appeared regular and eccentrically placed within the horn, consistent with a normal implantation within a septate uterus. Gestational sac appeared to be oval shaped, surrounded by a healthy decidual reaction. Yolk sac is visualized and a fetal pole also seen, measuring consistent with six weeks gestation. However, no fetal cardiac activity was noted at this stage. In the right horn of the uterus, a well-defined hypoequic mass is identified in the interior wall, suggestive of fibroid. It is homogeneously hypoequic, located in the interior myometrium near the fundus of the right horn. No internal vascularity or degeneration seen on color Doppler.